Hey everyone, how are you today? Hopefully good. Well, Periscope's today and it's from April 10th to April 17th, I believe. Sounds about right. All right. Let me just grab my cards. These are the cards I'll be using today. Yep. I like to use different cards all the time. I don't know why, I just do. Hmm. Alrighty, I'm just going to shuffle them. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. It's actually kind of gloomy out there today. Too many clouds for my taste. I can't wait until the warm weather comes. I mean, I don't like it when it's like 90 or 100 or whatever, but I do like when it hits 70, 75, even 80 is okay, but anything above is, I don't know, just way too... Way too hot for me. I'm more of a fall girl. I love that weather. All right. First one is Aries. The lovers. Ooh. I guess there's a little love in the air for you, Aries, this week. Yeah. <laughs> so lovers are like commitment, um, you know, getting to know each other and all that. And, you know... All that fun stuff that goes with love. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's see. Taurus. King of Swords. Well, Taurus, you're going to be that person who is just not going to take any crap this week. You're going to just cut to the heart of the matter and just say, yep, no bullshit for, no bullshit for me this week. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Gemini, Ten of Swords, Gemini, just watch out a little bit because Ten of Swords is pain and suffering. Just, you know, just try to beware and, you know, you're actually going to be forewarned. So, yeah, a little pain and suffering. You know, everybody goes through it. We all get through it too. So, you know, it doesn't last. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Cancer, four of swords. Cancer, you're going to have that rest or peace. You're going to be with, you know, at peace and all that. Or you're going to get some R&R, &R, you know, that well-deserved rest that you need. <laughs> Leo, queen of cups. Leo, you're going to be the queen this week. <laughs> You're going to be like, you lead with a strong hand, but you lead with your emotions. So, yeah. But she's very strong-willed, even though she has that soft, sensitive kind of side to her and everything. So, yeah. That's you guys, Leo. All right, Virgo. Three of Wands. Virgo, you're going to be waiting for something. Because Three of Wands is like waiting for your ship to come in. So whether you're waiting for, you know, maybe you're waiting for a letter or may maybe waiting for a response to something. But you're going to be waiting. You're going to play the waiting game this week. There I go. Libra. Two of Wands. Well, if you look at the card, you can tell that Libra, you have choices to make. Which path do you want to go on this week? Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? <laughs> you choose. Only you can choose. All right, Scorpio. The world. Scorpio, you have the world at your feet right now. The things that you wanted to accomplish or complete, you completed it. So you go, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Ooh, the devil. Sagittarius, the only thing I can say is just watch out. You know, the devil can be like obsession, uh, bad habits. Uh, just try not to fall into any bad habits this week, Sagittarius. Because sometimes, you know what? Obsessions get the best of us. Just watch out. Capricorn. Temperance. 
Capricorn, you're going to have to have a little balance and moderation in your life, which is good. We all need balance and we definitely all need moderation. So Capricorn, just keep that in mind. Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. Well, we're going to be doing a little juggling this week, Aquariuses. <laughs> Maybe we have to like put some money aside, try to juggle here and there, you know, on things that we need or what we don't need. But we're going to be doing some juggling. So, yeah, we're going to play the juggling game this week, Aquarius. Pisces. Five of Wands. Hmm. Just watch out, Pisces, because uh, as you can see, they're, they're having little competitions, you know, trying to like, you know, I would say just a lot of competitions this week for you guys, Pisces. Competing with each other, um, trying to maybe try to settle some arguments and all that. Just, just beware. <laughs> it wasn't too, too bad for everybody. I mean, we have our little things that we have to do and everything. All right. Going to do an oracle for everybody. I love oracles. They just... I don't know, different, a different spin on things. And this is for everybody, all the signs <laughs> for the week. Just want to shuffle them up really good. My cat looks so at peace right now. He's sleeping. Kind of jealous because he woke me up at nine o'clock this morning. Yep, nine o'clock. All right, I think that's enough shuffling. And it's, ooh, trapped. This week we're going to feel trapped. But you know what? Even though we feel trapped, there is always a key to get out of what we want to get out. I will read that to you guys. There's always a way to get out of things. Always. You may not think so, but there is always a way. Remember that. Oh. All right. Trapped. Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to, want to be? All right, let's try this over again. <laughs> I wish I knew how to edit because then I can edit this out, but unfortunately I don't. And I've been trying to learn how to edit for like the longest time and I'm just not grasping it. I don't know. So for the YouTubers out there who know how to edit and do all kinds of cool things, thumbs up. Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that you may not be able to fulfill? Do you feel as if you will never get what you want or go where you want to go? I think everybody does. I know there's times when I want to go somewhere and I can't. And I'll be like, yeah. Have patience, for truly you are in a temporary prison that exists in your mind, your circumstances. No matter what they are, will change and you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. So true. Remember, we always have a key to do what we want to do. Uh, in these times, dreaming is the best antidote and, of course, patience. Consider the story of the half-raven boy Trapped in conflict until he fin finally follows his heart. Trust in me, for I will show you when the cage doors open so that you can fly free. So yeah, have a little trust in yourself. Because you know what? Sometimes, like it does say over here, that it's all in our minds. That we do fail child, but in actuality, we're not. So keep that in mind. And it says, my dear sweet child, do you feel as if you are trapped in your life right now? And like I said, everybody feels like that every so often. They feel like they're not going forward. They're not going backwards, you know. It's actually, you know, I'm trying to think of the tarot card. Is it Eight of Swords? Feeling Trapped? I think it's that. If that's the one. But yeah. Or it's the Hangman. That's the one I was thinking of. Sometimes we feel like we're just stuck and we're not going anywhere. But you know what? We can get out of it. Anything we want if we put our minds to it. Alright guys, I hope you liked this little video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. 
and I'll definitely talk to you guys again probably before Friday probably I'll see today's Tuesday maybe Thursday hmm. we'll try to see if we can make a video Thursday all right guys Mwah. keep smiling bye